Good morning everyone. Hope you all safe with a good health with you Ms. Dina Badri, science teacher for grade 5. Today we will complete uh, our lesson. Uh, we will talk about reflection of light and refraction of light and what is the difference between them. The fir first of all reflection, it consists of two types, regular reflection and diffuse reflection or irregular reflection. So we have two types of reflection, regular and irregular or diffuse reflection. Smooth shiny surface have a regular reflection. So, uh, when the regular reflection happen on a smooth and shiny surface, that you see, this is a smooth and shiny surface. And when the light falls on a smooth and shiny surface, it reflect with the same angle. So we called it regular reflection. Okay. A rough or dull surface have a diffuse or irregular reflection. A re irregular reflection or diffuse reflection happen when light is scattered in a different direction. That you see, when the light falls in a rough surface, it reflects with a different angle. That you see. Okay, so it is the shape of regular reflection, it is the shape of irregular reflection. It happened in the smooth surface, it happened on a rough or dull surface. And we have something else, we call it refraction of light. So we have reflection and we have ref refraction. It happening when? Waves speed up or slow down due to traveling in a different medium. A medium is the something that light wave are travel through. Okay, medium is the something that light wave travel through. Okay, so uh, how the refraction of light happen when the light travel between two different medium like air and water, uh, water and glass, uh, air and glass, and so on. In the following activity, what happened when we put a ruler in a basin of water? That you see? Yeah, when we put, we, it seems broken, but it is not broken. Light rays are slowed down by the water. Ha, could the ruler to lock pent at the surface? The mediums in these examples are water and air. The degree that light paint when it enter a new medium is called the refraction. So, why this ruler seems to be broken or pent? Because of refraction of light. Okay, why? Because it transferred the light transfer between two different media. When light is hitting at an angle, light is pent. When light is hitting it straight on a light, is not bent. Okay, so when the light falls with an angle, huh, it will refract or bent. When the light falls perpendicular, huh, is not bent. Uh, and we have something else called lenses. So we have a plane mirror and we have curved mirror. Lenses work because of refraction. Light is bent as it enters a new medium as a glass. So, did you see this is a convex lens, thicker in middle, thin in one eighth. Hey, at two ends, hey, the uh, convex lens is a thin. In the middle, is thick. Light ray meant to form a focal point. Uh, makes real image. Huh. These light rays come together from a light source but can also make virtual image. Okay, used in camera, telescope, and human eyes. Okay, this is a plane with a convex lens. This is double convex lens. This is concave and convex lens. That you see. So, it make real image or virtual image. Concave lenses are thin in the middle and thicker on the A on the end. Since light ray never met with the lens, they make virtual image. So the concave mirror 
make a virtual image only. This used in camera, telescope, or correct spherical ha, appreciation, and also eyeglasses. So this is kind of lenses used in a in eyeglasses. Light rays slow down when they enter a new medium. Refraction can cause light ray to change their direction. Light ray slow down when they enter a new medium. Refraction can cause light rays to change their direction. All transparent material can cause refraction. Light rays slow down when they enter a new medium. Refraction can cause light ray to change their direction. All transparent media can cause the refraction of light. Light is refracted when it passes through lenses and create images. The rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Did you see? This is a prism. This prism, huh, what is the function of this prism? It separates the white light into seven spectrum color. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Okay. The color of an object appears depending on the color of the light it reflects. A red book only reflects red light. So, when I wear something red t-shirt or yellow t-shirt, so, what is the reflected light ray? Ha, the same color of the object. Okay? Then you see this book? Ha, all the light color, all the colors of the green book falls on this book. But it reflects which color? Red or orange or yellow or green or blue or indigo or violet? It reflects the red color only. Okay? Its own color only. Okay. Here. When the red color falls on a red shirt, it reflects red color for the shirt. But for the short, look black. Okay, so, but here, when the blue color falls on a red shirt, the red shirt reflects, it reflects its own color only. So, when another color falls on a different color, blue falls on red, it reflects blue for the short, because it is the same color, but for the shirt, it seems black. Okay, here. Ha. It will reflect orange color only. And here a white hat would reflect all seven color. Okay. Okay, when I have a red filter paper, huh? It will reflect the red color only. And here when we have a magenta filter paper, it will reflect magenta A only. Here Please uh, start to solve this by your own and uh, send it uh, to the mail, please. Light Introduction What is light? Let us discuss about it. In our daily life, we see a variety of objects in the world around us. However, we are unable to see anything in a dark room. On lighting up the room, things become visible. What makes things visible? During the day, the sunlight helps us to see objects. An object reflects light that falls on it. This reflected light received by our eyes and enables us to see things. We are able to see through a transparent medium as light is transmitted through it. We observe in daily life a number of common wonderful phenomena associated with light such as image formation by mirrors, the twinkling of stars, the beautiful colors of a rainbow, bending of light by a medium and so on. A study of the properties of light helps us to explore them by observing the common optical phenomena around us, we may conclude that light seems to travel in straight lines. In this chapter, we shall study the phenomena of reflection and refraction of light 
using the straight line propagation of light. These basic concepts will help us in the study of some of the optical phenomena in nature.